guys. Hi Sandy. Hi Rosie. I am here with your Bible reading. If you'd like to follow along today, we'll be continuing on with chapter 15 with verses 29 through 58 of 1 Corinthians. Are you getting your... I'm just getting my questions. All right. Let's begin then. Now, if there is no resurrection, what will those who do who are baptized for the dead? If the dead are not raised at all, why are people baptized for them? And as for us, why do we endanger ourselves every hour? I face death every day. Yes, just as surely as I boast about you in Christ Jesus our Lord. If I fought wild beasts in Ephesus with no more than human hopes, what have I gained? If the dead are not raised, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Come back to your senses as you ought, and stop sinning, for there are some who are ignorant of God. I say this to your shame. But someone will ask, how are the dead raised? With what kind of body will they come? How foolish. What you show does not come to life unless it dies. When you sow, you do not plant the body that will be, but just a seed, perhaps of wheat or of something else, but God gives it a body as he has determined, and to each kind of seed he gives it his own body. Not all flesh is the same. People have one kind of flesh. Animals have another, birds another, and fish another. There are also heavenly bodies, and there are earthly bodies. But the splendor of the heavenly bodies is one kind, and the splendor of earthly bodies is another. The sun has one kind of splendor, and the moon another, and the stars another, and the star differs from the star in splendor. So will it be with the resurrection of the dead. The body that is sown is perishable. It is raised imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in wickedness, in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. So it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last, Adam, a living spirit. If the spiritual did not come first, but the natural and after that the spiritual. The first man was of the dust of the earth. The second man is of heaven. As was the earthly man, so are those who are of the earth. And as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are of heaven. And just as we have been born the image of the earthly man, so shall we bear the image of the heavenly man. I declare to you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed. In a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, 
at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and will be changed. For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortal. When the perishable has been clothed in the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The death, the sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is your law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. That's where we're stopping with 1 Corinthians. Death is not the end. And now we're going to go to Psalm 39. For the director of music, for Jonathan, the Psalm of David. I said, I will watch my ways and keep my tongue from sin. I will put a muzzle on my mouth while in the presence of the wicked. So I remained utterly silent, not even saying anything good. But my anguish increased. My heart grew hot within me. While I meditated, the fire burned. Then I spoke with my tongue. Show me, Lord, my life's end and the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting my life is. You have made my days a mere handbreadth. The span of my years is nothing before you. Everyone is but a breath, even those who seem secure. Surely everyone goes around like a mere phantom. In vain they rush about heaping up wealth without knowing those it will finally be. But now, Lord, what do I look for? My hope is in you. Save me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the scorn of fools. I was silent. I would not open my mouth. For you are the one who has done this? Remove your scourge from me. I am overcome by the blow of your hand. When you revoke and discipline anyone from their sin, you consume their wealth like a moth. Surely everyone is but a breath. Hear my prayer, Lord. Listen to my cry for help. Do not be deaf to my weeping. I dwell with you as a foreigner a stranger as all my ancestors were. Look away from me, that I may enjoy life again before I depart and am no more. And that was Psalm 39. The director of music for Jonathan, a song of David. And now we're going to read Proverbs chapter 21, verses 30 and 31. There is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with the Lord. All right, guys, that was our Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys enjoyed it today.
Now let's go over to over to Sherm Shermariner for his uh, homework questions. <clears throat> Your homework question for last night was How did God keep the oceans clean? And your answer for that question was With tide With tide Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. You're so tricky, sure. You're so tricky. And your homework question for tonight is... Is the book of Josiah in the Old or New Testament? And that is your homework question. Is this another trick question? Listen to this one again. Another trick question. Is the book of Josiah in the Old or New Testament? Think about that. Think hard about that. Very hard. Don't get a headache. Now get your prayer books out. Let's go through the people that need prayer. We need to keep Sandy in our prayers. She's got tonight off. We need to keep April and Linda Packer in our prayers, Eric in our prayers, Macy, Kenny Wellman, Sherman Crabtree, Cindy Welsh, Rhonda Karster, Christopher Serbach, Abby Myers, Jimmy Myers, Shannon and her son Giovanni, Roy and Lori Mollett, Debbie Lee, Tammy Ashworth, Brenda, Zach, Sarah Gillum, and Mindy Gallimore. Nothing has changed with anyone. And that is our prayer request still. Alright guys, well that was everything. I hope that touched your guys' hearts. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. It is light, so. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.